you are lucky. This theater is magnificent. And we've been listening to um, Sophia play um, warm up uh, before you came here today. And the sound in this theater is just fantastic. You're so fortunate. And your uh, reputation for music at uh, Aptus High School precedes you. I was a teacher at Cabrillo College, and we had many students uh, from Aptus High when I taught there. And uh, so I'm glad to see you all here today. Uh, after I retired from Cabrillo College, um, I uh, continued to be the presenter of this concert series. And I want to invite all of you to come and hear this famous artist that's playing for you today for a short time when she performs on Sunday in Santa Cruz. And all you have to do is say the name Aptus High School and we'll let you and your family in for $10 a ticket. And mo mostly our tickets are 30 and $40, so you're fortunate again in another way. And I think you'll be impressed with this woman who just flew in from Paris yesterday to play this one concert. And it's one of many that she plays throughout the world. And she's uh, one of the finest artists that we have had on our series. We're extremely excited to have her perform for us on Sunday. And we're very happy to be here. So um, let me introduce Sofia Melikian. She's an Armenian concert pianist. Sophia. Hello, thank you very, very much. I'm very extremely excited to be here today. Thank you so much for the invitation. I'm very, very happy to, to share a little bit of music with you today. So today I, will, I want to perform for you some of the selections that I'm going to play on Sunday at the recital. So as John Rolando said, I am coming from Armenia. So the first half of my program is going to be, is going to consist of Armenian pieces, only Armenian. Do you know like where is Armenia? Do, is, does anybody of you know? It's in the Eastern, east, Eastern uh, Europe. It, it makes frontier with Turkey and with Iran. It's a, very ancient country, old country with, with, with a very rich culture, cultural background and uh, has a lot of music and a lot of Armenian composers are were and are inspired by popular music, street music. So I'm going to, f to, f to start my presentation by a first Armenian formal composer who, whose name was Komitas. So Komitas lived in, at the beginning of the 20th century and what he did, he traveled all over Armenia, he went to the most remote corners of the country and he listened to popular music and he collected th those songs and he transcribed it for ins different instruments. So I'm going to play for you four dances by Komitas, and I would like you to listen because in the score, when you look at the score, he says, he indicates what uh, instruments should the piano imitate. So we, many times we say that a piano is the king of the instruments. Why is it like that? What do you think? Why is the piano the king of the instruments? Why does it give like, so many possibilities? What do you think? Yes. Exactly. It has a, a large range, bravo, and it, it is capable to imitate a whole orchestra, if you want. So in these four pieces, Komita says, like, uh, in the bass, a lot of times, imitate a, a percussive instrument. On the, in, the, in the upper range, imitate a wind instrument, like flute-like. Uh, popular Armenian instruments. So I would like you to pay attention to that.
Thank you. So could you hear that, what I was talking about, the timbres, different instruments in the... Yes? Great. Great. <laughs> so the next piece that I'm going to play, it's of another Armenian composer. By the way, do you know any Armenian composer that maybe you know? <laughs> yes? Yeah, did I hear yes? There is one who is very famous. Who, yes, Hachaturian. He wrote a number, and later I will play a, a piece by him. A very known, well known. I won't say what it is, maybe later on you, you will tell me what, what you think that it is. So I will continue with another Armenian composer, Alexander Harutunyan, who lived also in the 20th century, and he wrote his music also was very inspired by popular motifs and oh, it's beautiful, you can hear, it's very, the second piece that I'm going to play, it's a dance by Sasun. Armenia is a very small country surrounded by mountains and dance of Sasun, it's like a dance of people from the mountains. And the first piece that I'm going to play, it's a, a slow, beautiful piece, which um, has it, it's, as its name, uh, Evening on the Arar, at the Ararat Plain. So while I'm playing, I, I would like you to close your eyes and to imagine that, that vision, that mountain Ararat is a very beautiful mountain, very big mountain. And uh, just to imagine an ev evening on that plain, how the sun goes behind the mountain and...
Thank you. Thank you. I would like to play for you a very beautiful piece, which is called in, in, in Spanish, La Maja y el Señor. Here at the end of, of the piece, like uh, an imitation of, the, of that bird singing.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So now the promised Hachaturan piece, and then you, you tell me what, what you thought that it was, okay?
So did you recognize it? Oh, so what, what was it? The saber dance. The saber, saber dance. Saber dance from the ballet Guyane. Saber? Yes, saber dance, yeah. Yes, like a sword. Like, have you ever seen that representation? Have you ever seen a, a choreography under that or not? Yes? It's very, very nice, very interesting. The whole, whole ballet, if you have a chance, I don't know, to take a DVD or to, it's a very beautiful, there is very beautiful music there, it's Guyane, he, he has another ballet, which is Spartacus, which is a very nice, also it has very famous tunes and melodies. So, <laughs> do you have any questions? Yes, please. Yes. So, what would you say are the most important things that you need to do in order to make a song sound good mm -hmm. and then playing the song? Well, first, like in order to make it sound good, you have to <laughs> make it sound correctly. That is, no, that is very important because you need to acquire that base over which you can go farther in your research, in your musical research, right? So. Technically speaking, what is sound correctly a piece? It's learning correctly the notes, it's go going deep inside into, into the musical text, what composer wrote, everything that he wrote, to put all that together. And then the most important thing and sweet to, to, um, to impulse your own imagination and, and to go farther to emphasize the dynamics of the piece and to try to feel, to feel, to read between the lines. So composer here wrote like, if you are seeing a, 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 I don't know, a text, like a piece of music, so there are a lot of things written there. You see like all the legatos, like and then like there are staccatos, there are many indications of articulation, or there is forte written, piano written, mezzo forte. So you can do it all formally, right? Formally you can realize everything. But you have to think also what is the message behind this? What is the feeling behind this? What is the character, the right character in every piece? Like I, today I played fast pieces, upbeat pieces, joyful pieces, then I played melancholic pieces. So I need always to, to really understand exactly what is the character and the mood of the piece. So maybe that is one of the main things that I would say. I don't know if I answered your <laughs> question. <laughs> More questions? Yes, please. I was five years old when I started playing, so it was a little bit, I have to say that it wasn't my volu voluntary <laughs> decision. <laughs> it, was, it is coming uh, because my father is a violinist, so I'm coming, I come from a musical family. So it, I, as I grew up in, in Armenia, there like the influence of also of, of the Russian method, the Russian school was very strong, so all the children of musicians, somehow it was an unwritten law. They had to continue the musical tradition, they had to study. So my first steps were not easy, were not at all easy because I loved music, but I didn't like to do this, you know, practice work, the, to practice five, six hours a day. But then when I was 12 years, years old, there was something that changed in me. And then it was the opposite, I wouldn't go away from the piano. And my parents were saying, like, it's enough. <laughs> so, it's enough to practice. So uh, I got into that world and I, I understood that it was something that they, I, I wanted to do. Absolutely, it was something that I had to do. So, yes? Um, when you first went to the piano, were you nervous? Oh, when I played uh, my first concert? or Yes, I was very nervous. <laughs> Very much. And especially in the school where I studied, it was a special school in Armenia. 
Every year we had like three or four exams where we had to play uh, scales, we had to play etudes, so all these uh, very technical things. And uh, yeah, it was uh, not easy, it was, of course, but you know, like when it, the nerves can be a, po a positive things. Also, sometimes when, I, when I'm not at all nervous before the concert, so I'm nervous because I'm not nervous. <laughs> you know, because like the nerves, they, are, they can be very positive and they can give in the performance something very exciting also, you know. Maybe you can miss one note or two notes, but it doesn't matter if there is an inspiration. If, when you on, on stage, you you find certain things, you find certain new things, certain new sounds, certain new phrasings, how you want, you know, you discover things, it's very exciting. So the nerves is, are good. If you are nervous, it's, it's a good thing. <laughs> so, yes. Yes. Uh, it wasn't my decision. <laughs> It was the decision of my father. It was somehow, uh, maybe he needed the pianist to come. No, <laughs> I'm joking. It <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, somehow it was, uh, I don't know, they gave me to piano. I cannot answer really, I, because I don't really know why it was piano and not violin. But I'm very happy with the instrument. Another instrument that I love is cello, that I, yeah, I would love to, to play. Yes, please. Yes. Mm, it's a difficult question. I I love the composers that I play in the moment, that I discover in the moment. There are many composers that it's very hard to say. I love Brad, I, I love the romantic uh, period. I love Brahms. I love. But if I have to name one composer. I would say Robert Schumann. Yeah. There is something about, I love his, uh, yeah, I don't know if you are familiar with his music, if you have a chance, especially his piano cycles, piano miniatures, they are marvelous. They are talking, for, he was a poet in the music. He, he, was, he, he loved poetry and he was very inspired by poetry. And you can clearly hear it in, in the way he writes in his music. It's coming right from his soul. Yes. Robert Schumann. 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 Yes. Yes, Schumann. Yes. Words, words composed. Oof. Oh. I don't know, like I cannot tell you a name because I don't really know, but I would say words composer would be composer that has chaotic ideas that doesn't express, whose music doesn't express anything, you know? You are listening to his music and it, it leaves you completely indifferent or it starts innerving you. Well, maybe if it innerves you, it means that it's good. I don't know. <laughs> but oof, you don't feel anything, you know? Not uh, melody-wise, not rhythmic-wise. I love contemporary music. It's like, uh, but there must be something I interesting, something that grabs your attention you know, on the intellectual and on the emotional level. So, yes, please. A favorite piece. Oh, yeah. Yes, maybe. Maybe if I have to name it, it would be Tchaikovsky, you know, The Seasons by Tchaikovsky. I love that piece. If I, yeah. Oh. Thank you so much. Can, can I give you a kiss? <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. It was a pleasure to be here. Thanks a lot. Don't forget, everyone, she's playing this Sunday at 4 o'clock and 7.30, and you can find out about the concert in this week's Good Times. All right? And also, your principal will have information to your various classrooms. So come on out and hear the concert on Sunday at 4 and 7.30. Just say Aptus High School and you'll get in for $10. Thank you. <laughs>